Bad news everyone, tax season is upon us once again and one of the questions you may have on your mind is what are the chances of me being audited by the IRS? What's up everybody, my name is Brandon Simons, welcome back to my channel, happy Friday and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what the actual chances of this happening are and what some of the things on your taxes that you may file would or could potentially generate a red flag which would increase your chances of getting an audit. Really quickly, just to get this out of the way, it's important to state that the content contained in this video is for educational, entertainment, and informational purposes only and is not to be considered as financial advice. Now with all that being said, let's just jump right into the video. So to get started, let's talk about what an audit is. An audit has a specific meaning wherein the IRS asks for details looking more deeply into your financial situation and records to validate what you've filed on your taxes. As a side note, it's really important to state that just because you may receive a letter from the IRS does not automatically mean you are going to be audited. With this in mind, almost all questions or queries generated by the IRS are going to be sent via snail mail as that is their main method of correspondence. Just because you receive a letter with the dreaded Internal Revenue Service letterhead and address on it does not mean you're going to be audited. It could very well mean that they're just letting you know that, hey, you made a mistake on your tax return and, well, unfortunately you owe us a little bit more money or something along those lines. So just be aware, if you do receive a letter from the IRS, it's not always a surefire indication that you are going to be audited. Additionally, it's worth stating that making a minor omission or mistake on your tax return is very unlikely to generate an audit. Now what I mean by this is the IRS uses the audit method to collect revenue and in doing so spends thousands of dollars on staff to be able to conduct those audits against people. So your $500 deduction, whether legitimate or not, is likely not going to trigger an audit because auditors are going to be going after the much larger fish in the pond who have filed much higher tax returns. With this in mind, the situations that are most likely to generate an audit these days are going to be those that are using Using higher amounts of deductions or credits, for example, the earned income tax credit for households that don't seem to match what they should be getting, or returns that report very high income levels over $500,000 annually. The chance of getting audited increases to a 1 in 16 for people who are filing more than $10 million of income annually. Inversely, taxpayers who report less than $25,000 annually on their income have an actual audit rate of about 0.69%, which is more than 50% higher than the overall audit rate for all tax filers. This means that low income tax filers are more likely to get audited than any other group in America except for those making more than $500,000 annually. Furthermore, the group of taxpayers who are least likely to be audited by the IRS are those individuals who are making between $100,000 and $200,000 annually or the middle to upper class and their audit rate sits at or around 0.44%. The reason why the chance is so much lower for this income bracket is because there is typically less room for error for the middle or upper class. This group of taxpayers is likely to receive a W-2 from their employer, which is information the IRS can verify. And this group typically relies on the standardized deduction rather than itemizing, which cuts out the potential for fudging or making a mistake on some deductions. While it may seem counterintuitive that low income households are more likely to get audited than some wealthier taxpayers, this this is due to the IRS checking for errors and fraud related to the earned income tax credit. And if you don't know, the earned income tax credit is a tax credit for low to medium income taxpayers who can receive a credit as much as $6,600 on their return if they have at least three children. Let's say for example, you are a single parent with multiple children and your income is $25,000 annually, you're likely the person to get the most amount of money from the earned income tax credit. Unfortunately, as many as one quarter of all earned income tax credit claims contain an error often due to the complexity of the credit's rules and as such this heightens the IRS's drive to want to investigate low wage workers returns for errors. With all that being said, the probability of you, the normal tax filer, receiving any sort of communication from the IRS with respect to an audit or otherwise is actually pretty small. In fact, you're likely not going to hear from the IRS so long as you're filing your taxes as accurately as you can. 
The reason behind this is the IRS has been exceptionally short staffed to be able to handle the millions of tax returns that they receive every single year. And as such, the IRS is much more likely to go after two types of people. People who are taking advantage of government issued credits, rebates, and tax incentives, or people who are making a ton of money, basically anybody who makes over $500,000. These particular individuals are going to provide the most incentive or return for the IRS efforts. Why would the IRS want to target Billy who fat fingered an accidental $500 deduction when they could go after some crazy real estate developer in the city of New York who makes millions upon millions of dollars and doesn't pay a dime on his tax returns. Obviously the IRS is going to go after said real estate developer to try to claw as much of that money back so that they can actually make some level of profit on their time and effort investment versus going after poor old Billy who just made an honest mistake and well I mean the IRS isn't even gonna bat an eye in his direction let's be honest. There's much larger fish in the sea than poor old Billy. Let's quickly review some of the key statistics released by the IRS that actually tell you actual percentages on your chances of getting audited. This first statistic is going to cover a vast majority of you out there, and that is if you make under $500,000 annually, you actually have a less than 0.5% chance of receiving an audit from the IRS. If for some reason you do receive an audit notice or a notice from the IRS, you unfortunately are just super unlucky. If for some reason you make between $500,000 and a million dollars annually, congratulations, your chance of being audited is about one percent or so. If you make between one million and five million dollars, must be nice. However, your chance of being audited increases to a staggering 2.2 percent. Moving on up, if you make between five and ten million dollars, your chance, you lucky sons of guns out there, is a staggering 4.2 percent. Lastly, if you make above ten million dollars annually, your chance is the highest of all, unfortunately, and that is going to be a 6.7 percent chance of being audited. Please be advised, however, that these percentages are just averages within these income brackets. If for some reason you're just doing wackadoo things to your tax returns and trying to claim deductions you don't actually qualify for or credits or you're writing off way too many things if you're a small business owner, self-employed, etc., you exponentially raise your risks of being audited by the IRS. However, if you are simply filing a 1040EZ or or a basic 1040 tax return and you're only relying on your employer's W-2 as far as income information goes, the probability of you getting pinged by the IRS is going to fall within that 0.5% chance of being audited. So you don't really have too terribly much to worry about unless you're like Billy and in this instance, rather than doing a $500 deduction, you decide to do something crazy. For example, let's say Billy owns his own small business and he makes a substantial living between the hundred and two hundred thousand dollar income bracket and he being an independent contractor files a schedule c well right off the bat billy is going to have an increased chance of being audited by the irs simply for filing that schedule c if in that schedule c billy files losses which you know, most companies or businesses that are filing this do have. These losses could include things like capital losses, being losses on investments, losses on rental properties, etc., etc. There's definitely a lot of things that can be taken advantage of for Schedule C filers. For instance, let's say you suffered a $500 loss on a rental property. You could file that and take advantage of that as a write-off on your taxes. However, if you were to report something like a $50,000 loss on that very same rental property, you're going to be putting a very big red flag on your account because this deduction falls way outside of the normal tax filer situation. So some of the other things that may trigger an audit for those of us who aren't filing as Schedule C would be things like charitable donations donations, especially if those donations are in excess of your income, meaning if you only make $50,000 a year, but you write on your tax return that you just donated $20,000 to a charity, the IRS is going to see that and be like, eh, something's not quite right here. And it's definitely going to increase your chances of being audited because this type of donation falls way outside of the norm for that set income bracket of $50,000. However, if you for some reason made 
50 million dollars in a year and you made a twenty thousand dollar contribution to the charity of your choice this is not going to be anywhere outside of the norm because folks who make this type of money always make these types of donations specifically for the tax write-offs at the end of the year so while this income bracket of above 10 million dollars inherently has a larger chance of being audited their chance is not going to be elevated any higher because of this large donation to charities simply because of their base income of 50 million dollars so this charitable donation is relatively normal whereas Billy who said he's donated $20,000 of his $50,000 to charity looks really sus and the IRS is likely to eject I mean no audit Billy because of this fishy deduction the other thing that's gonna raise your risk of being audited is if in fact you are not reporting all of your income now what I mean by this is let's take a look at the schedule C example one more time if you are a sole proprietor independent contractor self-employed individual chances are you're gonna be receiving receiving what is called a 1099 MISC from whatever establishment has employed your services. If you are getting a 1099 MISC as a self-employed individual and you do not report that to the IRS in your tax return, the employer or the person who hires you on and provided you a 1099 MISC has also transmitted a copy of that very same form directly to the IRS when they have filed their very own taxes. And since the IRS has a copy of this and you neglected to account for the monies made on this 1099 MISC, you're definitely going to raise a gigantic red flag on your tax return warranting a full bore audit from the IRS tax overlords. Not reporting your income to good old Uncle Sam is a huge no-no in the eyes of the federal government. And you know that pesky Uncle Sam always wants to get his free share of your freaking money, especially if you try to hide it from him. Even with all of this stuff being said, it's very important to keep in mind that over the last 10 years, the IRS has suffered significant losses in not only funding, but available staff members to be able to handle auditing. And as such, the probability of you getting audited has dramatically decreased over the span of the last 10 years. So with that said, your actual chance of being audited is significantly low. I hope this video has brought you a little peace of mind as we enter into the thick of tax season and and thank you so much for joining me today. Please do me a favor and smash that like button like it owes your mama some money and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. Peace.